Hey guys, this is Anthony with a tutorial on how to use the morph transition in PowerPoint 2016. The morph feature was introduced in PowerPoint 2016 and it looks like an animation, but in fact it's a transition. What you just saw right now was done using the morph transition. You can check this tutorial to learn the difference between transitions and animations. So first I'm going to show you some examples of how I use the morph transition and then towards the end of the video I will show you the basics of how it works. So I hope that gives you a good idea of the possibilities of using the morph transition. Now let me show you the basics of how it works. So let me first start by inserting a rectangle onto a blank slide. So I'll do it by going to the insert tab and then choosing a shape, in this case rectangle, and then I'll just place it right up top here. Let me just quickly change the color to red and um, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the slide by right clicking and choosing duplicate as you can see there's a duplicate slide here now and what I'm going to do is once I'm on the new slide a duplicated slide I'm just going to do some changes to this rectangle I'm just going to change the orientation and then just drag it and change the shape I'll also change the color so you get an idea as to how it works and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the transitions tab and I'm going to apply the morph transition right here to the second slide I'm then going to duplicate the second slide and what I'm going to do is I'm going to again change the orientation I'm going to move it somewhere around here and then change the size again and the color so essentially what I've done is I took this slide here with no transition duplicated it changed the shape and the color and the orientation applied the morph and then duplicated that slide and then changed um, the orientation again, the position, and the color. Now just watch what happens when I play this slide. I'm going to click on the first slide that I started with and then I'm going to just play the slideshow. So as you can see now as I play it, it morphs into this very smooth transition. So that's the basics of how it works on shapes. And now let me show you how the morph transition works on characters or letters. So again, I've got some blank slides here, and what I'm going to do is, just like you see here, this is a text box that I have with just uh, characters, all the alphabets, A to Z. So essentially what I did was I went to a blank slide and went to the Insert tab, inserted a text box, and then just typed in all the alphabets, A to Z, and then just changed the, the size of the font, as such and then what I did was I just duplicated that slide by right-clicking it and choosing duplicate slide and then what I did was 
I changed those letters to the word morph. Okay, what I can do is I can just increase the size again. I'll increase the size and then I'll just move this down to the center. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Transitions tab and I'm going to apply the Morph Transition to the second slide. Under the Effects options here, you'll see there are three options, Objects, Words, and Characters. So what I'm going to do is the initial one that I'd used, the earlier example that I showed you, I used the Objects. That was the default setting. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to use characters. And now just watch when I go to the first slide and just click on the slide show. It nicely morphs. This is just a basic example just to show you how that works. As mentioned earlier, you can check this video to learn the difference between animations and transitions. Hope you found this tutorial useful. You can check this YouTube channel of mine for more PowerPoint tutorials. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by.